Hey, Goblin, you've been really practicing those war drums. I'll bring the generic Goblin noise! This video is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc. With free weekly content and free shipping on orders over $150, you can save 5% site wide by using the promo code MTGMUDSTA. If you're looking for a direct way to help the channel, please consider joining my Patreon and becoming a member of the generic Goblin Gang. Hey, gang, and welcome back. In today's game, we have Maria, Max, Simon, and myself battling it out. Maria is new to the channel, and she's brought her Tom Bombadil deck because she loves Lord of the Rings. She keeps Training Center, Yavamaya Cradle of Growth, Urborg Tomb of Yawgmoth, Nomad Outpost, Pongify, Mir Convert, and a Fabro Elder. Max is playing either Javier Sal or Xavier Sal, I'm not too sure how the correct pronunciation goes, keeping Herospex, Tyranid Prime, Soul Ring, Death Cap Glade, Command Tower, Moss Warp Bridge, and Lanawar Reborn. Simon's here to hunt some zombies with Daryl, Hunter of Walkers. He keeps Aether Flash, Goblin or Narcomancer, Invasion of Karsus, Colony Ambush, a Forest, and two Mountains. I just want to infect everyone with my love, playing Vishgraz, and I keep Command Tower, Temple of Melody, Plague Nurse, Norn's Choir Master, Cultivate, Bloated Contaminator, and a Black Sun Zenith. Maria wins the die roll and starts us off. She draws and plays a Nomad Outpost. Max plays Command Tower and taps it for a Soul Ring. Simon just plays a Forest. I play Temple of Malady, which comes in tapped, scrying one, and keeping it on top. Maria plays a Training Center and taps two for Mere Convert. Max draws and plays an island. He then casts Tyranid Prime and passes. Simon plays a mountain and taps a red and a green for a goblin or Narcomancer and passes to me. I just play an Undergrowth Stadium. Maria plays a Yavamaya and then casts Jukai Naturalist. She passes to Max. Max plays a tapped Mosswort Bridge, hiding away a card. He then casts a Harrispec, which evolves a Tyranid Prime, and he passes after that. Simon plays a Mountain for turn, and then plays Seeker of Skybreak, and ships it to me. My turn is pretty quick, as I play a Plains, and then cast Cultivate to find a basic for the field, and one for my hand. Maria plays an Urborg, and then taps enough to cast Tom Bombadil, taking two from her Mere Convert, and passes after that. Max draws and plays a Deathcap Glade. He then plays Ren in 7, and once they're out, down ticks the Walker to make a Tree Folk, which evolves both of his Tyranids. During Max's end step, Simon casts a Braid and takes out the Harrispex before it can get any bigger. Simon draws and plays Kalni Ambush, but that is the land side. He then casts Daryl and passes to me. I play a Plains and copy Maria, casting a Mere Convert. I then play out a Staff of Completion, and I pass. Maria plays a tapped Opulent Palace, and then casts Death in Heaven and targets Max with a trigger, milling him for two, and then exiling his graveyard. With nothing else, she passes. Max draws and upticks Ren in seven, getting Colony Garden. He then casts his Commander, Javier or Xavier, and then plays an island and passes. Simon's upkeep has him giving me three walker tokens and then draws for turn. He then casts an Aether Flash and plays a forest. Going to combat, Simon swings Daryl at Maria, dealing four. After that, Simon passes, and during his end step, I lose four life to draw a card with the Staff of Completion. My turn has a force coming in, and I then play Norn's Decree, and I go to combat. I swing my three walker tokens at Simon, and in response, he untaps Daryl and blocks one. He then activates Daryl to shoot another token, drawing from it dying, and then damage happens, with the other zombie dying, and Simon gets to draw another card, and then takes two from the unblocked zombie. In my second main phase, I cast Bloated Contaminator and pass. Maria draws and targets Max again with Death in Heaven's trigger. 
he mills two and excels his graveyard. Maria then plays Birth of Imperium in her main phase. She makes three Astardes, which die to the Aether Flash as they come in. She then plays a Botanical Sanctum. After that, she passes, and during her end step, Max activates Moss War Bridge and is able to cast an Astral Dragon. With it coming in, he gets to make two copies of Norn's Decree that are also 3-3 flyers. Max draws and plays a Lanawar Reborn, which comes in tapped. He then upticks Ren in 7 again to get some lands, and then activates his commander, removing a counter from one of the creatures to help him populate the Norn's Decree token. Going to combat, Max swings his Astral Dragon and tokens at me, and gets a poison counter from my Norn's Decree. And after combat, Max casts an Arcane Signet, and then a Rampant Growth to find a basic. Simon gives the Rockers to Maria, but they all die to the Aether Flash, and Simon draws three, and then draws her turn. He plays a Roadside Reliquary, and pings the Astral Dragon for two with Daryl. He then untaps Daryl with the Seeker of the Skybreak, and then casts Invasion of Karthus. Responding to this, Max casts a Ruinous Intrusion and targets Simon's Aether Flash to save Xavier or Xavier, and then all the creatures take three. After that, Simon plays a Thornbite Staff, and then a Nature's Chosen and has them go with the Daryl. He then uses it to untap Daryl again, and then pings Xavier twice to kill him, and with nothing else, Simon passes. I draw and play a Swamp. I then play a Norn's Choir Master and go to combat. I swing the Bloated Contaminator at Simon for 4, and he takes it and gains a poison counter. I also get to proliferate on both Simon and Max's poison counters, and with nothing else, I pass. Maria draws and upticks the Birth of Imperium, making us all sacrifice a creature, and then resolves Death in Heavens, putting 4 face down Cybermen into play thanks to Max's exiles. Tom Bombadil then triggers as well and she gets History of New Benalia, which comes into play and makes her 2-2 Knight token. She then plays Mines of Moria, and then casts Fabro Elder. Moving to combat, she swings Tom at Simon, who takes the hit for 4. Max draws and plays a Tap Myriad Landscape, and then casts Thousand Year Elixir. He then upticks Ren in 7, and then recasts his commander. Since he's able to tap him thanks to the elixir, he activates him to remove a counter from Ren in 7, and populates the Tree Folk token. He then activates the elixir again, untapping his commander, and doing it again to populate. Moving to combat, Max swings the original Tree Folk at me, and gets another poison counter while I take 8. With nothing else, he passes to Simon. Simon draws and plays out Dingus Staff, which probably has the best name in all of magic. He follows up with a Briar Patch, and passes. My turn has me playing Bajuka Bog, which comes in tapped, and I exile Max's graveyard. I then cast a Glistening Sphere, and proliferate everyone's poison, and once that's done, follow up with a Plague Nurse. Going to combat, I swing my Norn's Choir Master at Simon, dealing 5 and drawing a card, and I then pass turn. Maria draws and upticks her Sagas. She draws 6 off of Birth of Imperium, and as it's sacrificed, gets to flip with Tom. She reveals until she hits Trial of the Time Lord, which as it comes in, exiles Norn's Choir Master. She then makes another knight off the History of New Benalia, and then plays Birth of Meltis in her main phase. This allows her to go and grab a Plains, and she puts it to hand. She then plays the first Iron Games, and makes a Human Token. Maria then casts a Golgari Signet, and moves to combat. She swings the Fabro Elder at me, Tom Bombadil at Simon, and the 4 2 2 Cybermen at Max. I chump with my Plague Nurse, while Max eats 2 Cybermen with his Tree Folks, and Simon takes 3 commander damage. In her post combat main phase, Maria taps Fabro Elder for one of each color of mana to help cast Atraxa Praetor's Voice. She then moves to her end step and proliferates her sagas. This allows her to put 3 plus 1 plus 1 counters onto Tom, make a wall token, and she exiles Xavier and decides not to proliferate on History of Benalia. She also proliferates the counter on the battle she's defending, as well as Max and Simon's poison counters. She passes after that. Max draws and plays a forest. 
he recants Savior and uptakes Ren for two more lands to put to hand, and then sacrifices Myriad Landscape. He goes to find two swamps which come into play tapped. Max follows up by cashing in Ren's counters by activating Xavier to remove one, and proliferates his tree folk twice, and then goes to combat. He swings three 10 10 tree folks at Maria, and she chumps them all with a human token, a wall token, and a knight token, but still takes six from the Dingus staff. After that, Max passes. Simon plays a forest in his main phase, and recasts Daryl. During his end step, I pay four life into the staff to draw a card. I draw and play an Inkamoth Nexus. I then cast Black Sun Zenith, putting 8 into the X, which wipes away Maria's tokens and Daryl. They both take damage from the Dingus staff, but Max's tokens sadly survive, albeit they're quite small. I then pass turn. Maria draws and upticks her sagas. They don't do anything on this board state though, so she then recasts Tom. She then plays a Plains and casts Unnatural Restoration, returning a Traxxas to her hand and proliferating Simon and Max's poison counters. Not to mention adds another minus one minus one counter to Max's tree folks, adds another counter to the battle, and adds the final counter to the first Iron Games, which gets her a gold token and then flips into Michiko Reign of Truth. After that, she passes, and during her end step, I activate Staff of Completion to proliferate, and this kills Max's tree folks and he takes 10 from the Dingus staff, and I give Max and Simon an additional poison counter. Max draws and plays a nurturing peatland, and sacrifices it to draw again. He then plays Nisa, Ascended Animist, and down takes her to make an elemental token. He passes once he's done. Simon's turn is quite quick as he draws, recasts Daryl, and passes. I play an Evolution Sage, and then animate my Ikmoth Nexus. I swing the Ink Moth at Maria to get her on that poison clock. I then play a Phyrexian Sensor and pass. Maria draws and upticks her sagas. Everyone votes guilty on Norn's Choir Master and then pumps her Tom with Michiko's Reign of Truth. With the Trial of the Time Lord being sacrificed, she gets a Tom trigger and flips into the Elder Reborn, and all of her opponents sacrifice a creature, which has us all taking two from the Dingus Staff. She then replays a Traxa and goes to combat. She swings Tom at Nyssa to take her out, and then moves to her second main phase. She then plays the One Ring as her only non-Phyrexian spell for the turn, and activates it, drawing a card. She follows it up by playing a Sheltered Thicket, and then moves to her end step. She proliferates on her two sagas, flipping Michiko's Reign of Truth, and then makes her opponents discard a card from the Eldest Reborn. Max and Simon's poisons also get proliferated, and Maria then passes. Max draws and recasts Xavier again, passing to Simon. Simon draws and plays Cinder Vines and passes to me. I draw and cast Scytherix and then animate my Ink Moth Nexus. I give Skittles haste and move to combat. I swing Skittles at Maria and the Ink Moth Nexus at Simon, drawing from the Norn's Decree. However, I miss that Simon's Briar Patch makes the Nexus a 0-1, so he takes nothing. Maria casts Pongify in the Scytherix, and I regenerate it in response. This removes it from combat, but we quickly realize after combat that she has protection from the ring anyway, so it was kind of a waste on both of our parts. I then go to pass, and on my end step, Simon casts Nature's Claim on the Eldest Reborn, blowing it up and gaining her four. Maria takes one from the ring and draws. She then draws two by activating the ring, and then cast Shouldred. We each sacrifice a non-token creature, and Maria then activates Shouldred to transform her, which as it comes in, kills Scytherix. I lose four from the Dingus Staff, and she then plays a Hex Parasite. Simon then cracks his Roadside Reliquary in response, drawing two, and Maria goes to combat. She swings a Trax at me, and Michiko and Tom at Max. Max responds with Arachnogenesis, fogging the combat step and making some spiders. Maria then goes to pass, and Simon uses this as an opportunity to snipe out the truth convictions by sacrificing cinder vines, blowing it up and dealing two to her. Maria then proliferates Max and Simon's poison counters with the Traxa and passes. 
Max draws and goes to combat. He swings a spider at Simon for one to draw Fnorn's decree, and in his second main phase, plays a tireless tracker. He then plays a tap path of ancestry and makes a clue token. He sacrifices the clue token, drawing a card, and then casts Reform and passes. Simon draws and plays a forest. He plays Ironcrag Pyromancer and passes to me. My turn has me playing a forest, and I then cast Gliss's Retriever. Once that's out, I animate the Inkmoth Nexus and I move to combat. I swing both of my creatures at Maria and draw off of Norn's Decree. She takes the hit from the Retriever and blocks the Inkmoth Nexus with Atraxa, gaining 11 life, but also 5 poison. With nothing else, I pass. Maria takes 2 off of her ring and draws. She casts Balaged Recovery and returns Shoulder back to her hand and then replays her. We each sacrifice a creature, which has me dying to Dingus Staff. And Max gets to make the upgraded token from the Reef Worm, and Maria then goes to combat. She pulls the counters off of Traxa with the Hex Parasite, and then swings out at Simon. He responds by casting a Vampire's Vengeance to kill Hex Parasite. And responding to this, Maria activates the One Ring, drawing three, and then removes a counter off of it with the Parasite before it dies. Simon then drops to 8, and in her second main phase, Maria plays Minas Tirath and passes. She gets her Atraxa trigger at the end of turn, and proliferates Max to death with poison, and puts Simon to 9 poison as well. Simon draws, and plays out Vondris. He sees no ways to stop Maria's combat or proliferation, and he knows when he's beat and scoops it up. Game review time! This game was 1 hour, 45 minutes, and 51 seconds. It felt like a lot of fun to play, although I'm not entirely sold on my Vishgraz deck. I thought Infect would be fun, but honestly it seemed like Maria was getting more value out of it than I was. Some of the cards in the deck seem great though, but I'm just not sold on the archetype. Maria's Tom Bombadil deck worked so well, and that kind of deck requires so much enchantment hate to really shut down. It felt like as long as she had her commander out, he was indestructible because of how many Saga counters were on things, and she just kept hitting value after value whenever she was finished with one of them. That, coupled with the back-to-back -back play of the Eldest Reborn and then Shouldred, really tanked our boards. Plus, the Dingus staff just made every creature that died that much more potent. Max certainly suffered from it, despite the fact that he had, despite the fact that he had so many 10-10 tree folks. I cut them down a lot with that Black Sun Zenith, but I was actually really into Xavier Sal, and I think I might consider trying him out in the future. Simon's Daryl deck was spicy. There were some great inclusions like that enchantment from alliances that untaps him, and the Aether Flash and his upkeep trigger is beautiful. Who needs Sylvan Library when you can just give people creatures that immediately die? I loved it. Even that enchantment that reduced the attacking power of creatures by one seemed really good. It just meant that the walkers that he gave away were that much less powerful when attacking him, and it felt like he had a lot of really good synergistic cards in the deck. This video wouldn't be possible without the help from my sponsors, Cool Stuff Inc., Multizone, Original Magic Art, and Alter Sleeves. But it definitely wouldn't be possible without the help from you, the viewers, and my patrons. So I just want to say thank you for watching, and to remember, Friends are just opponents you haven't eliminated yet.